Hello, my name is Michelle, and welcome to my very first YouTuber apology video that absolutely nobody asked for. <laughs> Hello, you must be confused, and so am I, and that's exactly why we are here today, so welcome. I have no idea what this video is, but fair warning, it will be a lot, so enjoy. I was originally about to film this outside, but the moment I put my cushions down, it started raining, so if there's any scene in my life that could accurately depict my whole entire existence, it would be that. Um, but anyways, so now I'm sitting at home alone in my cold dark room on this beautiful chilly September evening. Why am I talking like this? I am 100% stalling. Um, I am trying to put this off as much as I can because I do not want to get into it, but I also need to get out somewhere because I will definitely talk my friends ears off until they decide that they do not want to be friends with me anymore because I am crazy. This is a video that is going to get a little bit messy, I think, and um, I really have no direction, but I'm going to speak out of my ass like I usually do. If I can give you some sort of insight on what I want to talk about today, maybe it would be um, my failures. I'm just kidding. Okay, that was a lot. I think every year around this time, near autumn, September-ish, um, I get into this weird mood of I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and I try to rebrand myself every single year and in some ways it does get better, but it is a constant reminder that no matter how hard I try to change myself, I will always be a little bit lost. I'm going to be completely 100% honest with you guys. I am a mess, okay? I know that you guys see what you see on my channel is a great curation of what I want you to see. Because as honest as I want to be with you guys, sometimes there are moments where I cannot be completely 100% honest because there are days where I'm feeling terrible and I'm feeling like a terrible person and that's not something that I want to blast all over the internet. I put out what I want you to see, not what I actually am sometimes. And sometimes I am just so lost and confused and I don't know what I'm doing and I can't just trauma dump for the internet because that would be a disaster. I know that most times on this channel I like to post more uplifting and sort of like life lessons and trials and tribulations that have kind of gotten me to a better place than I was before. I think because of that it can seem like I know what I'm doing but in reality I don't. And that is very very scary. I've had some people ask me if I could make videos about being unstuck. But I don't even know where to start because I have been stuck m for the majority of my life. And quite honestly, sometimes on this journey of self-improvement and becoming a better person, I am the villain, not only to myself, but to other people as well. And I know it's very easy for me to sit in front of this camera and preach a bunch of things that I know are right, but all that means nothing if I'm not addressing the negative sides of the growth process because there are times where we fuck up. You will not always be the good guy and sometimes you need to recognize that and learn from it. I think all of us as humans grow up with the perception of what we think is right but in reality what we think is right is not always right and so sometimes we do things that hurt people when we don't mean to hurt them and we act in ways that are soothing for us but in reality it is damaging to us and our relationships as well. I don't want to shy away from that part. The growth process is not linear and you're not going to keep on improving in a linear manner. And honestly all they can say to that is don't run away from it. In my life I would say that I have not always been a perfect friend, a perfect partner, perfect anything. There have been times where I have ruined my own relationships because I was avoidant and I didn't even realize. If I feel like people are pulling away or there's a potential for me to get hurt, I will tend to flee the scene before anything happens and sometimes when we've been hurt we just want to never hurt again and we do things to avoid and cope but we end up damaging relationships that were never meant to be damaged, we end up ruining opportunities that were never meant to be ruined, and it's just like a constant cycle of just you running away from something. That's not something that I can keep on doing because no matter what, my issues are my own issues and I can't 
push that on it to other people and expect them to understand. And also when I get opportunities that I think are too good to be true, I tend to sort of shy away from them because I am afraid that one day I will just completely screw it up. When things are going well, I just want to run and hide and I don't know why. And honestly, it is self-sabotaging. And for the longest time, I really didn't understand that I was doing it or why I was doing it. I want to put out there though that this is not a video where I'm trying to fish for compliments or trying to get sympathy from you. In fact, it's the exact opposite. I've been getting a lot of nice comments recently and it's kind of making me nervous. Because now I feel like I have a responsibility to be honest about the struggles of just being human and getting to a place where you are kind of happy with your life. Growing up, I've always had this idea or this dream that one day I'm going to move away, I'm going to leave everything behind me and never look back and I'll start a new life and I'll be a completely different person and I think that will solve my problems but it doesn't. It is extremely, extremely unrealistic and extremely toxic and obviously I don't think that anymore. Um, it was this delusional dream that I had growing up. Running away does not solve your problems if you are the problem. And that is something that I really had to have smacked over my head to realize. For the past couple weeks, there has been this looming cloud over my head. And that is the realization that I am solely responsible for everything that happens in my life. This responsibility is something that is terrifying, but yet also comforting because I know that I I'm in complete control. Every small, stupid, or intelligent decision that I've made in my life has accumulated to get me exactly here. I think it's important to recognize your own habits, not only for yourself, but for the people around you. The thing about bad habits is that they are addictions. It is addicting to stay in a place that is bad because it feels comfortable. And the worst part is that you know it's bad, but you can't really stop it. It's almost as if like you are watching like a baby in a stroller roll down a hill onto the highway. That is a terrible analogy. I don't know why I picked it. It's the first thing that came to my head. That doesn't make it any better. I'm sorry. And you really have no choice but to go after it and save it and fix the situation at play. But as you're doing it, there's always this looming fear that maybe you won't be fast enough. So you're like almost at this crossroad of doom and doom, but one doom is less likely to be doom if you just are good enough. And sometimes I don't know if I'm good enough. It's crazy because I know it's irrational, but I can't stop it from happening sometimes. And I know that I'm not the only person that is going through these intrusive thoughts that are very, very unlikely. Failure is a possibility, but I don't like thinking of it as an option, and I don't believe that I will be a failure. What do I even think is a failure? I don't know. I guess not getting to where I want to be, or getting to where I want to be and realizing that it's nothing like I imagined it would be. Whenever people go through this and they tell me, you know, Michelle, I'm scared for my future, I I'm always able to say to them, you know, if you are a good person and you have pure intentions, I don't think that you have anything to worry about when it comes to your life. And now that I'm thinking about myself and that fact that I keep telling people, I am afraid that maybe I am not a good person. And so now I'm worried. Hello, I am back and I have officially stepped off of the cuckoo train and I have in some sense come to my senses. After a long night of reviewing the footage that I took and the word vomit that I've spewed on camera, I have come to the realization that I don't really mean a lot of the things I said. I usually don't have too many negative thoughts about myself or I try not to sometimes, but Sometimes they do spew out and I wish that I could just take them back in and just stick them into that 
mysterious glowing closet, but I can't. I'd say like a good 90% of the time I am very confident in my abilities and my own self. But there's always that 10% that creeps up on me every once in a while. And I can't just pretend it doesn't exist. I think it's good that I acknowledge it. To be honest, I really wasn't going to post this video. Um, I just really need an outlet. But anyways, now that we got that out of the way, I don't think that I'm a bad person. I don't think that I will not succeed. But I do know that I make mistakes, and we all do. And the best thing that we can do is just try. But anyways, back to the main topic of this video. I think we're about over 10 minutes in and I have not said anything that has given you any insight as to what I am even talking about. But like most YouTuber apology videos, this has absolutely no point. So I think I'm doing a good job. I guess what I want to wrap this video up with is that I don't know what I'm doing and I don't really know where I'm going. And sometimes I don't know if I'm doing the right things to get there, but at the end of the day, if I know that I am just a little bit better than what I was, I think I will be happy. I will be able to sleep at night and everything will be okay. So, um... That is all that I have for you today. I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job at this apology thing. I don't think I even said the words I'm sorry, um, but they never do in these videos, so I don't know if I should, but I guess I will because I truly am sincerely. Mm -hmm.